Welcome guys! Recently I've had a lot of requests to update my settings video and to be fair it makes sense to do so because I've made important adjustments. I'll mainly be talking about my graphics and gameplay settings as my key bindings remain the same and if you're curious about those you can check it out in my previous settings video linked in the description below. The biggest change in my settings are to be found in my graphics settings. This stuff is more important than ever due to how the damage per second of your weapon is linked to your frames per second. For this reason we want to get as high FPS as possible without sacrificing visibility too much. The way I did this was by lowering my resolution from 1440p to 1080p and on top of that I got myself a 240Hz monitor so I could experience some extra smooth gameplay. And yes, you can see a difference between 144 and 240 hertz. Lowering your resolution will give you more frames per second, but it will also make it harder to spot enemies. But FPS is godlike for now. So before we start with my advanced graphics settings, I want to show you this graph. This shows your weapon damage per second based on your frames per second. The higher FPS you have, the less variation in weapon behavior and average higher weapon damage per second. In my case I aim for 150 plus FPS because my system can pull that off. This whole issue with FPS and DPS will definitely get fixed at some point. But for now you will have to base your settings around this. So. In my advanced settings I have screen scale set to 120 but this cost FPS. The higher this value is the easier it is to spot enemies due to having a clearer image. And this is only something I think is necessary if you go below 1440p in resolution. If my FPS drops below 150 too much then I consider lowering this a bit. I might actually lower mine to 110 instead of having it on 120 anti-aliasing on ultra or high to reduce image pixelation. This is important as a pixelated image will trick your eye to thinking it saw movement when it didn't. From here it's all down to how ugly you can accept your game is. Because this is currently all about sacrificing a good looking game in order to gain higher FPS. I found a balance where I have my textures on medium as it looks far better on medium compared to low and very low is just absolutely ugly I think. Sharpen is on because it helps with that extra clarity that I will always recommend getting. It might affect your FPS but I've heard many say that they did not notice any FPS drops when enabling this. In my gameplay settings I highly recommend having ADS and aim on hold and it's very important that you have aim and ADS on two different keybinds. Separating aim and ADS will increase your ADS speed which can mean life and death. The reason is that the game doesn't need time to figure out if you want to go ADS or aim so it will react faster. Makes sense. By the creation of this video, candid sites are not yet on live servers but I am gonna have this on toggle and bound to my left mouse button. These are the most important settings I believe there are right now. It makes sense to prioritize FPS over visibility but make sure to balance it out a bit. Now that's all I had for this short video. I hope it was helpful and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys next time.